Hi everyone, this is Ross Teacher Toolkit. Um, last night I attended the UK Blog Awards um, and Teacher Toolkit was um, voted, nominated, won the highly recommended um, education blog in the company category. Um, so I'm really delighted about that. Um, it, it kind of is a sign of the times that Teacher Toolkit, for me personally, um, has moved a bit more beyond just me and it's moved towards a company. Um, I mean, it is a registered business um, and I've got a few people working with me now. So I hope for in 2017, kind of 18, that you start to see a lot more content, a lot more resources that are more meaningful to you. Um, and I hope that I can see the blog go into a kind of whole new level in terms of um, output and content and helping teachers across the world. Um, so just to finish off, just a thank you to all the readers who read Teacher Toolkit. Um, thank you for sharing the resources, the ideas, recommending new teachers to the blog. Um, and in, in terms of just if you're a new blogger and you want to grow your own blog, such as I did, um, into what it is where it's a blog that's read around the world, um, then there's three tips. The, the first tip for me is consistency. Um, a lot of people blog and then kind of give up and for me I've written probably about 850 blogs now uh, and I blog less because I have a lot more people blogging in Teacher Toolkit uh, with me instead so there's a lot more variety. Um, so c consistency is key, it's very difficult to keep the blogging up when you're a full time teacher so I, I aim for about two or three blogs a week which is a lot. Um, but in the beginning it's probably just once a week so consistency would be my number one tip. My number two tip would be um, content. Um, it's important to uh, focus the content on you initially but eventually as your content grows and you get feedback you start to get a few ideas, the news might inspire you or your colleagues um, or the people that follow you on social media. Um, but stay true to yourself. Um, blog what's relevant to you uh, and in terms of your role and you'll see your blog kind of tick over don't blog for other people blog for yourself uh, and always seek a bit of feedback the, the way your blog's going to grow is if you engage with other people you take feedback on the chin whether it's good or bad um, and then see how things grow and in terms of tip number three i would suggest that um so you've got consistently content clarity is my third tip um, be very clear about what you want to share. Be very clear about your intentions, so whether you're sharing a resource um, that's free or something that can be downloaded and, and your subscribers might pay for it, or, or you might want to just share an opinion or a political view or just a resource to help teachers in the classroom, whether it's a new teacher or a senior teacher. So the third tip is be very clear about what you're sharing and what you're writing about. Okay, so um, again, Thanks for all my followers and readers who tune into Teacher Toolkit. Um, highly commended uh, by the UK Blog Awards 2017, so really chuffed. Um, and I hope to share more content soon. So thanks again and uh, thanks for watching.